doing drum clinics for me is an opportunity to branch out beyond, you know, the name Dream Theater. And uh, it is primarily Dream Theater fans that come to the clinics, but uh, it's also given me the opportunity to establish myself uh, as, as an individual name in the drum community beyond Dream Theater. There's lots of drummers and people in the industry that I've met through the years that uh, know my name, Mike Portnoy, through, you know, through the drum clinics I do or through the drum magazines I'm in or through my endorsements. And they don't even necessarily know Dream Theater's music, but they know who I am. And I think that's a big result of uh, all the clinics I do. This is actually my second clinic tour throughout Europe. Uh, I did a, a clinic tour in Japan, a clinic tour in Australia, South America. I've done hundreds in, in, in America, North America. Um, so I'm constantly doing them. I mean, obviously, Dream Theater is my first priority, you know, recording and touring with the band. But when I do have time off from that schedule, I, I am out doing a lot of drum clinics. So it's something I've been doing for many years now. Yeah, I mean, the clinics for me are, are fun because they're much different than a, a concert. You know, when you have a concert, there's no uh, communication. There's a lot of interaction with the crowd, you know, screaming back and forth, and, you know, we're playing and they're listening and giving back. But um, there's no actual communication, whereas at the clinics, it's a chance for people to ask questions. It's a chance for me to be a little more personal. Um, you know, sign autographs, shake hands, take pictures. So it's an opportunity that fans wouldn't normally get if they were going to come to a Dream Theater concert. Drumming is constantly evolving. So the drummers from today, I think, are technically better. Um, up from the drummers 10, 20, 30 years ago, but that's, uh, that's only because we exist from what we learn from them. Um, you know, if there was no Buddy Rich, then there would have never been, you know, uh, a Ringo Starr, even though they're very different styles. If there wasn't a Ringo Starr, then there never would have been um, a Neil Peart, you know, and so on and so forth. You have this string and this big, long timeline of evolution, and everybody is, is uh, part of somebody else's evolution. When it comes to my particular drumming, I try to somehow walk the balance between, you know, the progressive technical drummers and the heavy, you know, uh, metal drummers. So I sort of see myself as a, a mixture between somebody like Bill Bruford and Lars Ulrich, somewhere in between. Mm -hmm. 